So what we have in this problem is a box on which there are three forces acting. And as a result of these three forces, the magnitude of which is given, the box moves to the left by three meters. So the question is, what is the net work done on the box? And does the kinetic energy increase or decrease due to these forces and the displacement? So this problem can be approached in two ways. One could be we find the net force acting on the box and do a dot product with the displacement to get the work done. The other could be we find the work done by each force. That is, we take the dot product of F1 with D, F2 with D, and F3 with D and add it up to find the work done. In both cases, you'll get the same answer. But in this question, what we'll do is we'll take the second approach. That is, we'll find the work done by each force. So therefore, we can say if we take the second approach that the total work done W is equal to the sum of work done by force one and let's call it W1 plus the work done by force two plus the work done by force three. So let's go ahead and find what's W1. W1 would be nothing but the dot product of force one with the displacement. So this should equal five newtons into the displacement three meters. And remember it's in the left direction into the cos of the angle between this force and the displacement. And we can see that the displacement and F1 are in the same direction. So the angle is zero. So this gives you 15 joules of work done, positive work done. And it seems obvious because the displacement and force are acting in the same direction. W2 would equal to the dot product of force 2 and displacement, which would equal 9 newton into 3 meter. And the angle you would see between force F2 and displacement is 120 degrees because theta is given as 60 degrees. So we'll write cos of 120. And this, if you calculate, is minus 13.5 joules. And again, it, it seems obvious that force two is actually acting against the displacement. It is reducing the energy of the box. The box is moving in the left direction. The force is largely acting in the right direction. And that's the reason you're getting a negative value. Let's go in and find what is work three. And again, even before you calculate, you can say that the work done by force three would be zero because it's acting in vertical direction while all the displacement is happening in the horizontal direction. But let's go ahead and find what is the work done by force 3. It will be the dot product of force 3 with the displacement which would therefore equal 3 into 3 into cos of the angle between force and displacement which is 90 degree and we know cos 90 is 0. So this equals 0 joules. And therefore we can go and find what is the work done which should be 15 joules minus 13.5 joules plus zero. And this gives a value of 1.5 joules. And you can see it is positive and therefore positive work has been done on the box. And therefore its kinetic energy has increased. Now what you can also conclude is the fact that positive work has been done on the box, the net force of F1, F2 and F3, if you combine them vectorially, would also be in the direction of displacement.